Hello guys. Now I realize that uh, I don't have a spare Spartacus to show you how to build it. So don't waste any more time. I will uh, disassemble this one and I will build it again. It really doesn't matter what type of hot end are you using, even if the new one that you have we have released or a T Volcano with a Z V6 heatsink or a T Volcano with Ender style uh, heatsink, it doesn't matter. The um, whole process is the same. Our focus for today is the extruder because this is the only part that we didn't cover yet because the fans and all the um, uh, stepper motor and uh, can board they are the same for the Spartacus uh, LGX and for the Spartacus uh, BMG this is already covered in the Spartacus uh, BMG now we will discuss about the Spartacus LGX and I will show you how to install it first we will use a 10 millimeter PTFE tube I like to use this blue one that it has 1.9 inner diameter and 4 diameter long and I am taking a 6 millimeter drill I am putting it like this on one of the edges and I am uh, screwing it a little bit just to form this shape here and after that we will install it in the main uh, extruder body this is the main extruder body that we need to insert that heat insert here. And we will insert the PTFE tube here. This is the main body for the extruder and here we will install 4mm uh, heat set insert. After that we will take the gears and we will install them. And this it will be nice if you lube a little bit the bearings with sewing machine oil first gear it was uh, inserted like this now let's insert the main gear that it has bearing one here and one here and this it will be inserted like this and when we turn this we turn the other gear as well this is the idler door and we will insert the gear idler gear we have a bearing here inside we we'll insert it in and with the we we'll insert the locking pin from this side like this we see that we don't have any supports and when we will turn this it will run smoothly now this is a part that no one has expected this is the shutter gear and we will take uh, eight millimeter if i remember good let me see it no it's a 10 millimeter let me double check it yes it's a 10 millimeter screw and we will screw the shutter gear shutter here it will look like this don't over tight it because we need to just over tight it we need to okay like this we need to still be able to uh, move it freely here at the face as we call it we have one heat set insert here one heat set insert here one here and this hole it will be for this screw to go in it will go like this and everything is aligned not now just a second everything is aligned now we need to put a heat set insert here i usually put a long one this is uh, 5.7 millimeters long and this it it, uh, it has to go here let me show you I am putting it like this because it's a little bit hard one-handed but we need to make this video not that long and fast we insert that there and now okay so now when we are opening this it's moving the this piece the shutter out for a better understanding i will show you now this is the shutter and when we open this it will push the idler gear with the idler door from this position yes from this position it will push it out this it will go like this and so when we will open this it will push the idler gear out for easy access for the filament 
the final assembly it will look like this and when we open the shutter it will push the idler gate out and now let's put the extruder into place here it will go the locking pin for the idler door in this hole like this and here it will go the screw for the shutter so let me take it and now when we you see this is the movement this is the extruder back plate and we have here a four millimeter heatset insert and we need three long screws they will be two empty by 25 and one empty by 35 it will be more easy when you are mounting the uh, extruder back uh, plate to get this gear out and to be careful with the bearing in this hole to mount it because it will be more easy to mount it like this because here the gear is under this piece so it will be more easy to mount them together in that place rather than putting this behind this after we are checking if everything works as intended this is screwing perfectly without any problems and I forgot to tell you that before installing this you need to put a short screw empty by 8 or you can go empty by 10 but an empty by 8 it will be good for the uh, securing the stepper motor but you need to insert this screw here before mounting the back plate because otherwise you, you will not have space and this side you can uh, put the screw later we are getting this out putting the screw and putting it back and now with the screw in place focus with the screw in place we can go further here 2 m3 by 25 and here up m3 by 35 this long screw is not only securing all the parts together but also it will act like a safety for the releasing uh, pin for this shutter let's see i still need a hand i think i already grabbed oh i grab it with only using only one hand it's working perfectly even though i don't have the perfect you get the idea and let's test the extruder now i will try to keep the gears locked and to pull this filament to see if it's locked but you test it and tell me if the grip is good if it's slipping the filament you need to screw this a little bit more the fans you got the idea you need to install the middle fan first route under this fan the um, cable and get it out from here it has a releasing place putting this back and also this routing the cable downwards behind the fan and getting it out from here the stepper motor we are installing from this uh, position and it will lock in place like this and here at the back we are installing the um, two set heat two inserts on this piece and we are mounting standoffs in the insert and after the can board again standoffs the two power cooling fans they are going in this port or this port it doesn't matter you can switch it in the firmware but they are going in parallel in one of the ports and the hot end fan with the but i didn't install it in this case with the can board fan they are going in parallel in the other port this with this in parallel and these two in parallel i'm using these two pins for clicky and here inside the second and the third pin for the x and stop the heater is here the um, i didn't install on this printer because i was in a hurry the two leds they are going in this support and this is the use small zip ties to tie these uh, remaining cables nicely 
and also don't forget when you are installing this to don't pinch any cables with this part be careful when you are installing this here that all the cables coming only from this size and this long screw this it needs to be an m3 by 30 uh, two but you can go in the but you can go for the lgx with m3 by 30 five on the bmg you need to pay attention if you are having an empty by 35 long to don't pinch the extruder gear screw the stepper motor in also the stepper cover screw it in here and now let's install the final part here we will have two m3 by 16 and here one m3 by 35 and there we have it the complete Spartacus LGX. Enjoy and please post your uh, build. Thank you for watching and uh, if you have any questions leave them down in the comments and uh, don't forget to like and share uh, this video and also if you are not uh, subscribed yet you can subscribe because there are coming a lot of uh, nice videos with more projects. Thank you again for uh, interest in our projects and see you later. Bye.